program unveiled to much fanfare by Mayor de Blasio back in 2016 is now facing scrutiny from civil liberties advocates. And beyond questions about where the information collected by the street chaos is going, the program, called Link NYC, may not be making any money. Our Gloria Pasmino joins me now with more. Good evening, Gloria. Good evening, Errol. These things have become part of the city's landscape. They're basically everywhere at this point, and we often walk by them without noticing them. When Mayor Bill de Blasio first announced Link NYC, he promised it would help low-income New Yorkers access the web. But several years after that agreement, it's clear the private company behind Link NYC has not kept its end of the bargain. And questions remain about what exactly they are doing with the data and what they're getting in exchange. And Link NYC will be the Wi-Fi network New York City deserves. It was supposed to be free Wi-Fi for all. A public-private partnership between the administration and CityBridge, a technology company which set out to replace the city's old payphones with Wi-Fi kiosk. Today, there are 1,815 Link NYCs scattered throughout the city. Users can make free calls, charge devices, and browse city websites. But five years since signing an agreement, Link NYC has failed to deliver the revenue it promised. At the time, CityBridge said it would make money by selling advertising on Link NYC screens, but the numbers have come up short. We need to be really cautious about how they're making money off of us, mm -hmm. right? Because people, when they interact with Link NYC, they're not handing over money, mm -hmm. they're handing over their data. According to the agreement, 7,500 kiosks are expected to be installed by 2025. When the city first announced Link NYC, it promised 500 million in revenue in the first 12 years. So far, the city has collected only 90 million. Questions about the company's profitability and exactly how it's using technology and data are also increasing. Last month, the NYPD released kiosk video of a man vandalizing a tower, raising concerns about when the cameras are on. The company says there are two security cameras on each kiosk, and the footage is only stored for seven days, unless it's needed for an investigation. In recent months, a group of activists under the name Rethink Link NYC have been active on social media. They have taped flyers on machines around the city, warning users about the possibility of being recorded without their consent. Even supporters of the technology say the company has been slow to deliver what it promised. I'd like to see the rollout be a lot more aggressive, even though we've now read that it's losing money. And the good news is that they're big enough, they're resilient enough to keep moving forward with this. Now, a disclaimer on the company's website says it does not sell personal information or share data with third parties for their use. However, as long as they have user consent, personal information such as an email address or name could be shared with those parties. Errol, I oh, also yeah. mm -hmm. want to talk a little bit about some of the information that people are trying to access when they, they use these machines. I asked the company, City, uh, City Bridge, which runs the, the towers, they told me they, the most dialed number in New York is the EBT line, which is how uh, the phone number where people can learn how to get on food stamps. So there is some interesting information about how this technology is being used, but a lot of questions about what they're doing with that information. Yeah, sure. I mean, look, uh, I, I understand privacy concerns. On the other hand, as we know, because uh, we often use cameras out on the street, mm -hmm. there's no, if there's no expectation of privacy, you can't right. suddenly complain if somebody takes your picture while you're out in broad daylight. And that would include video that's shot by these towers, right? Exactly. When you're walking down the street, you can't really expect, as you said, privacy. When you walk into the Duane Reed, you know that there's surveillance video being uh, recorded. Mm -hmm. but. I, th I think what this has shown, especially with the uh, vandalizing incident that we saw a couple of weeks ago, people did not know that those cameras were in these uh, towers, and we're still not entirely clear when those cameras are rolling, why they're rolling when they're rolling, and if they're strategically placed around the city for any reason. Sure, and who's on the other end of those cameras? Exactly, exactly right. Thank you, Gloria.